Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my memory spread for the week of December 24th through December 30th and this week is really special because it is Christmas week. Um, for this year I did get to spend Christmas with my family in Taiwan which is the first time that I've gotten to see my parents over Christmas in like four years so that was really really nice um, being able to spend the holidays with them. Um, so for this week this is actually going to be my last holiday spread. Next week will be my New Year's spread and I have a really gorgeous kit for this week from a shop that's new to me. It's called It's Just Paper Co. And um, this kit was actually super perfect for Christmas in Taiwan because a lot of the decorations are actually pink. So this really reminded me of some of the decorations that I saw over there. I want to quickly go over what stickers are included in this kit. Um, the first thing that came with my order is this large sticker. Um, yeah, it's like a whole box on this one sticker and it's like a girl who's opening up Happy Mail um, like in bed or something so that's really cute and then with the kit came these glitter headers that are um, also have like silver sparkles on it I don't know if the camera is picking it up very well but it's super pretty um, this kit is in silver foil here we've got the nine full boxes and three half boxes at the bottom on this page, we have the foiled bottom washi. Oh, it goes this way. The foil bottom washi as well as the foiled headers, and they're super pretty. Um, on the next page here, we've got lots of functional items. Um, we have like a lot of functional icons. We have circle icons, some deco pieces, um, heart checklists, and some to-do boxes, as well as a weekend banner. Some of the stickers are really light in color just because this color scheme is a little bit on the pastel side, so it's a little hard to see. Here we have the headers and the little things. On this page, we have the heart checklist. We have some quarter boxes and half boxes. And then here we have, these are date dots. They don't show up very well in person, so I'm sure you can't really see it on camera. Then we have these circle icons. We have um, sidebar trackers, a ton of this stuff, some appointment labels, and then bill due stickers in the corner. So that's everything that's included in the kit. It's a really, really full kit, actually. I'm sure I'll have tons of leftovers. And I wanna start with my bottom washi as usual, so um, stay tuned if you would like to see see me create my Christmas bread. I ended up trimming down a little bit of the washi at the bottom because it was just a little too thick. I do like having a little bit of room above and below where the bottom washi sits. And after I placed those down, then I put down the, um, was it a quote box? Yes, the foiled quote box in the top corner and it says, tis the season to sparkle. Now I'm just moving on to putting down all of my date covers. And I just wanna quickly mention that this kit isn't glossy. Um, I don't usually prefer glossy stickers because um, I don't really like the way that it feels. And I don't know, I just really like how matte looks in my planner but I think this kit was only offered in glossy plus I've noticed that with photograph kits um, they, it does look better in glossy paper so that's totally okay with me um, I couldn't find any date dots that were in a silver foil so I ended up just writing in the dates myself for the flag in the top corner, I did not have anything that came in the kit, um, so I ended up just whiting it out and placing down a piece of the deco, which is like a little ornament, and I just thought that was kind of cute um, for that little corner space. Then moving on to my sidebar, I first put down a blue glitter header with a um, habit tracker to track my working out, and then I decided that I wanted to add a simply gilded bow washi um, to this spread, so I ended up lifting that up and then placing down a strip of the bow washi, and this one works so perfectly with the kit because of that lilac color with the silver foil. I then replaced the habit tracker with the glitter header. Um, I used one of the sidebar boxes to track my happy moments as I usually do and then I used the other one to track my dinners. Um, I ended up switching out the color of the glitter header so that it matched the boxes a little bit better and I really like how that turned out. Moving to Monday, I first cut up a strip of the Scotch Expressions um, silver glitter washi tape. I really like pulling that washi tape in whenever I use silver foil because it adds a really nice touch of glitter to the spread. And then I used a half box with a Christmas Eve lettering sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that the 24th was Christmas Eve. I then put down a little things to mark what we had for breakfast that morning. And then my boyfriend and I went and watched a movie that day. Um, I had been really wanting to see this movie um, it's called Dear X, and it stars my favorite Taiwanese actor. His name is Roy Chu. It's a really interesting story, and it's really, really, really good. So I highly suggest you guys watch it. I think it's coming out on Netflix on, like, February 1st, which is probably around the time that I'm posting this spread. So um, if you are looking for a new movie to watch, I would definitely check it out. Um, anyways, the um, Silver Foiled Heart is from Stella Bow Sticker Co., 
After the movie, we went and got Hot Pot for lunch. So I put down a Hot Pot sticker from um, Hazel Sticker and she had released a whole Taiwanese like Hot Pot sheet. So that was really perfect. I definitely had to purchase it for the spread. Underneath that, I put down a full box and then I hand lettered um, Christmas land at the bottom of the full box because we went to um, this like event that was called Christmas land and it basically was like this little plaza area that was all decked out in pink string lights and they just had like a little show going on and lots of food vendors and everything. So it was just kind of cool to check out and kind of got us in like the Christmas spirit. So um, I just put that on the box. I actually did not like how that turned out because as you can see, I ran out of space. Um, but I mean, I wasn't going to waste the box, so I just kind of dealt with it. But anyways, afterwards we went to a bar and got some beer. That beer sticker is from Hazel Sticker. At the end of the night, uh, we went to the Christmas Eve church service with my family. So I put that on a little things at the bottom of my spread. Moving to Tuesday, Tuesday was Christmas day. So I put down a full box at the top and that hand lettered Christmas sticker is from paper and milk. I also placed down a silver foiled um, bow from Stella Bow Sticker Co. to just give that a little more decoration. Then I used a little things to mark our breakfast again. We got soup dumplings, which is like one of my all time favorite foods. And then for lunch that day, we actually went and met up with my dad. Um, then I put down another strip of the Simply Gilded Washi and uh, cut up a checklist into three hearts to mark some things that we did and places that we went. Um, one of the things we did was to get boba. So I used a boba sticker from paper and milk. That night we had hot pot for dinner. It's kind of a family tradition to have hot pot on special nights like Christmas or New Year's and Thanksgiving and that's what we always did growing up and so it was really fun to um, kind of live that tradition again. And then I did scoot up the half box a little bit because I found this really perfect present sticker. I think that was a leftover from a kit from the Giving Girl and so I just put that on the bottom to mark that we exchanged presents that night and it was super fun um, because again I don't get to do that with my family very often so um, it was really special. On Wednesday I started by putting down a today header at the top. I used a small strip of washi to mark our breakfast and we got soup dumplings again so I pulled in the soup dumpling sticker from Hazel Sticker. That was part of a Taiwanese food sticker sheet that she had recently released and it was so perfect, well timed. Um, then my boyfriend and I went to the zoo that day. Um, we love the Taipei Zoo. It's like a really good size and um, we just love watching like the monkeys that are there. They're super funny but anyways I found this perfect sticker to mark the zoo it's like this bear wearing a sweater and it's so cute i think it was a sampler from clever gal crafts like way back when probably like two years ago and so i just thought that was perfect to mark the zoo I put down another strip of the silver glitter washi and then put down a full box underneath that. And I really like that full box. It's pink with um, silver foiled string lights. And I just think that's so cute. That afternoon we played Mahjong, which is like one of my favorite games, but I did realize that I don't have any Mahjong stickers. So if you know a shop that sells one, please let me know down below. Um, instead, I just use this like money sticker that is from, I think it's from the Sparkly Studio, but I'm not quite sure off the top of my head. My family and I went to get Thai food that night, and so I put that on a quarter box, and the Thai food sticker is from Hazel Sticker. At the end of the night, I was feeling really, really tired because we were still fighting jet lag, and so um, I think I ended up sleeping early that night. Um, I just put that on a washi strip, and then the um, sleeping mask sticker is from White Deer Stationery. Moving to Thursday, I first put down a full box at the bottom because I knew that's where I wanted it. And then my camera cut this part off, but I did put down a strip of the Simply Gilded Washi at the top. I used a little things to mark that I found my favorite tea from 7-Eleven. And then um, we did lunch with my aunt and my grandma. It was so good to see them. So I put that on an appointment label with a silver heart sticker from Stella Bow Sticker Co. I moved back towards the bottom of the spread because I wanted, we had done so many things on Thursday and I really didn't have space to mark everything. Um, so starting from the bottom kind of gives me a chance to see like what I do have space to mark. And so the first thing I put down was a washi strip with a um, little bowl sticker from Hazel sticker to mark that I got a late night snack that night when I got home. And then above that, I used a two heart checklist to mark some places that my boyfriend and I went. Um, we went to a couple, we went to a brewery and then a craft beer bar. Um, it's super exciting because the craft beer scene in Taiwan has totally blown up over the last four years that we've been going together. And it's just, 
just been really exciting to see like all these um, different breweries pop up with um, different beer like brewed from a lot of local ingredients. But anyways, that beer sticker is from Paper and Milk. I then put down a quarter box with a shopping icon to mark that we met up with my sister's friend and we did a little shopping together. And then in the remaining space, um, I did have to adjust things to make everything fit. I used a bow paper clip sticker from Very Cute Designs to mark some things that we had done in the middle of the day. And I'm super sorry if you can hear something in the background. I'm doing laundry right now, so it's just kind of the sound of the water like going in and out. But anyways, I ended up like switching out the... Um, the sticker at the top and I also added a coffee or tea sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. On Friday, I started by putting down a full box at the top and it's the silver foiled ornament one. It's super pretty. And then I used another little things to mark my breakfast again. Um, that day, my boyfriend and I went on another adventure to um, go to this like little museum. And so on the way, we stopped by this like board game store that we just happened to see and we love board games. So we bought something there and it was kind of cool to check out. That um, gaming sticker is from Paper and Milk. After that, we went and got some boba, so I put that on a quarter box with a silver foiled boba sticker from Hey Soul Sticker. I put down another strip of the silver glitter washi, and then on the half box, I put down the museum that we went to. It was like a miniatures museum, which was pretty interesting. Like everything was like mini, but it did kind of start giving me a headache after a while because my eyes were like straining so hard to see all the teeny tiny details. Um, but yeah, it was it was a pretty interesting experience. That location heart sticker is from Sunset Sticker Co. My family and I then tried to go um, to a nice restaurant for dinner that night. We were going to go to this nice teppanyaki place, but we literally could not find parking forever. Um, we circled around everywhere and we just decided to give up on that experience and we went somewhere else to get beef noodle soup instead. So I used a um, sad Coffee Monsters Co. emoji and then at the bottom, the beef noodle soup sticker is from Hazel Sticker. I bolded my writing on the um, half box just to make that stand out a little bit and then I move on to the weekend. So for this week I decided not to use a weekend banner just because I was on vacation and every day felt like the weekend um, so I didn't specifically feel like I needed to accentuate the weekend in any way. So for the beginning of Saturday I started by using a today header with a um, washi strip but then I decided to switch the header to that orangey um, glitter header instead so that it matched a little better. I pulled in a car sticker from Sticker Blush to mark that we did a little road trip on that day. And then the first thing we did was stop by a bakery to buy um, some goodies. It was like, it's a really famous bakery and they have like really good stuff. So um, I pulled in this croissant sticker, but I'm so sorry. I'm not quite sure what shop that is from. And then we went and got Hot Pot for lunch with my dad's side of the family and it was really good to see them. So um, I put that on a half box. And again, the Hot Pot sticker is from Hazel Sticker. It's the same one that I used on Monday. Once I'm done with that, I put down another strip of the Simply Gilded Washi with a full box underneath. Um, this is the other full box with the tree and the sparkly lights, and I just think that's so pretty. It's like my favorite. Um, underneath that, I put down a an appointment label with a pencil sticker from Nikki Plus 3. At the end of the night, we drove home, and then we got boba and played mahjong for the rest of the night. So I used a silver foiled boba sticker from Hazel Sticker. On Sunday, I started by putting the full box down at the bottom and then moving back to the top, I used another strip of the silver um, glitter washi from Scotch Expressions. And then the first thing on Sunday, we went on just a little walk around where my parents live. We like went on this trail that often has stray cats. So I was really excited and I used a little things to mark our breakfast that morning. And then that afternoon, my boyfriend and I went to um, what is kind of like informally known as Stinky Tofu Street. And um, I was really crazy some stinky tofu because I hadn't had it since I got to Taiwan and um, I know it sounds terrible and I know it smells terrible but it is so good and it's like one of my favorite foods there um, but yeah it was amazing and it looks pretty much like what the, the um, sticker looks like and that is also from Hazel Sticker. I then decided to play around with um, how I wanted to mark the next few things. Um, so I laid down some quarter boxes and a half box, but it looked really crowded. So I ended up like switching it out and just using two of the three um, stickers instead. So the first one I put down is that uh, kind of like a third box, I guess. Um, and on that, I used a microphone sticker that's from Love Shira um, to mark that we did like an at home karaoke sesh that afternoon. And it was really, really fun. And um, after that, we 
went out to the night market for dinner and just to shop around. Um, so I put that on a half box and the stars banner sticker that I just pulled in was a leftover sticker from a paper and milk kit that I used a long time ago. At the end of the night, we had some beers at the night market. So I decided to mark that with a once more with love munchkin drinking beer. I decided I wanted to pull in another one of those glitter foiled headers and so I stuck that at the top. Now I'm just filling out my sidebar. I'm actually pretty proud of myself that I worked out four times this week despite being on vacation. But anyways, now I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left over. Like I said, I do have quite a bit left over and um, this is also going to be a giveaway video for my leftover stash. It's gotten pretty huge because I haven't done one of these in a while. Um, but if you would like to um, be entered for the giveaway, go ahead and leave a comment down below it can just be something as simple as giveaway or giveaway entry so that I know you would like to enter the um, the contest and then I will leave all of the details down below in the description box so make sure you check that and once it closes I will randomly select a winner and um, comment on your message to let you know that you won and if you could just send me a quick email then I can get all the um, stuff out to you as soon as possible so anyways all that will be in my um, description box and yeah thank you so much for watching this video I I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is the last of my holiday spreads and I'm kind of actually sad to say goodbye to the holidays um, in my planner. I feel like, I know it's been like a month, but I'm kind of still holding on to these memories because they were just so much fun. Um, but I guess I am feeling ready to jump into the new year. So um, thanks again for just bearing with me while I memory plan and try to catch up with all my spreads. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.